Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Alex Fresco and in this video, which is the second part of the CAD environment on how to draw geometries, we will see polylines and splines. So how to draw polylines and splines. Let's immediately start uh, with the polyline, uh, which is the third one, uh, actually the fourth one from the top, considering also the, the point. And uh, remember on the right panel, you have uh, the possibility to switch uh, between uh, different uh, geometries. In this case, since we are talking about a polyline, so we can draw uh, lines, uh, and we have three different types of lines and we can go actually ahead also with arcs and we have uh, three different types also of arcs Let's start with the with the line We can click anywhere in uh, the working area or specify coordinates here on the right panel Right now uh, ortho is enabled so uh, as you can see, I can move only every 45 degree, otherwise I can turn it off and move uh, freely in the area. Then uh, keep in mind when you are building uh, a polyline, you can switch uh, as many times as you want between lines and arcs. Uh, so uh, now we can keep going, for instance, with an arc. Then we can go back to the line and uh, if you need uh, to specify you know just a length uh, and the angle you can switch type of line otherwise you can uh, even go ahead and, and draw it freely here just clicking as I'm doing uh, then go back to the line again we can even use uh, uh, the tangent arc so as you can see, it's going to be tangent to the previous geometry. And then you can assign the direction of the arc this way or the other. And uh, uh, I don't know, we can uh, now go back to the line and eventually close the polyline uh, with the right click of the mouse. And as you can see, you have uh, options here and I can decide to close the polyline and it will automatically snap the end point of the line to the starting point uh, of the, the first line that we start to draw. We have seen how to use a polyline. Now let's go and uh, check the spline which is pretty similar. The only thing is that uh, usually spline is just uh, basically a wavy form without lines, as you can see as I go. You, cre you can create shapes like that. Remember, when you have to uh, stop your uh, polyline creation, you can do it from here and it will take the last point uh, added. Otherwise, again, you can right click and eventually decide to close the, the spline. One more thing, if you want to edit one of these geometries, remember that you can double click directly on the geometry here in the working area, or you can double click on the geometry here in the right panel. And at that point, you can start moving the points and bring them where they need to go. going to do some variation also for the spline. As you can see, everything is adapting. And in case of machining applied to this geometry, we will see in a future video that also the machining will follow the new 
form of the geometry. This is it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and see you at the next video.